Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space. Wait a minute. This is Windows 7. Let's start again. <clears throat> hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Windows 7. For some reason. No, there's actually a reason. The reason why is there are some configuration options in Kerbal Space Program that are pretty pretty neat. However, you cannot edit them in the game. You have to open the settings uh, file and change them right there. So if you go into your, your KSP directory, you find the file settings at CFG. I've already got it open right. Uh, this is it. All right. Right here. And you can see here there are two files here. One is called or one two two important ones we're gonna we're gonna take note of here. Now all these other ones you can pretty much change in game, but uh, or you just don't care about them. But these two right here um, are very important, uh, very interesting in fact. And you cannot edit them except in your text file right here in the CFG file right here. And they are conic patch draw mode and conic patch limit. Now these are the defaults, number one and two. Um, and they both do some things that change the way that the map view uh, renders. And I'm going to explain some of these things here and what you can do. Now the first thing that you can do, which is very simple, is conic path limit. Increase that to something like 5 or 10. You don't want to go crazy with it because it's going to make your game run a little bit slower with each number you add. You know, each each the higher the number is, the, the slower it's going to run. Um, this basically just says to the game, look farther. Don't just look into one orbit. Look into two, three, four, up to five orbits. Um, and, and SOIs and things like that. Look farther into the future to see uh, what my path and what's going to run in my path and what I'm going to see. The second is conic patch draw mode, and there are five modes, numbered 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and depending on which number you do, the conic patch, uh, the orbital view is going to, to render out the path in which your ship is going to take differently. Now, I've, uh, we're actually in Windows for a reason, not just so I could show you this file, but also because I've taken screen caps of each of the conic path draw modes. That is a mouthful, I'll tell you what. Now, the default for this is 1 and, one and 2, or uh, naturally, um, and so I actually increased this to 5, and I, I rendered out a, a, mo a lunar um, flyby, basically, and I, I, I took screen caps of all of them. We're going to look at these. Now, this is number 1. This is the default, and you can see here we're traveling in here, and then you'll have this kind of path by, uh, by the moon, and you can see here that's pretty much what you normally see, um, and it it looks really strange because you're going this way and then bang, you're going this way. And there's even a third uh, element here because we do a flyby. We're not actually going to land on it. We're not going to do an orbit. And that is that we're going to have uh, uh, another orbit after we do the flyby. And you can see here I've, I've moused over the exit. Uh, so you can see here's the exit. And here's where that little icon will be or where we're going to enter the new orbit. And this is where the moon will be when we actually do um, exit the moon. And, uh, you know, this kind of looks a little strange because you're actually going this way and then bang, you're coming out here. But if you could sort of like imagine this uh, as being sort of coming out like this and kind of doing like a snaky uh, sort of a thing, that's actually what's happening. And as we get to this point here, this is where we're going to start, but the moon is going to continue on. And so we're going to continue this arch. But as the moon kind of travels, we're going to kind of do kind of a snaky thing like this. And it kind of seems a little odd that, you know, we kind of do this thing right here, but that's the way the game is rendering it, and that's the way that um, the, 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 the default is. And so uh, we're actually going to look at zero, which is even weirder and harder to use because you're, it'll actually show the line where the, the moon is, you know, where the, the body is um, right now. And so instead of being like coming around here, it's actually moves it over here, and then it's like, oh, it'll be over here when you do. It's kind of tricky. Um, it's actually pretty accurate. It's, it's still really good. It's just a different way of looking at things, and it's useful if you like it. Um, and there's also a uh, flip ahead to that. This is one. This is two. Um, number two, if you put two in there, it actually shows you where the exit is. And so this is the location of the moon where the exit is, and this is what, you know, if, if you were to travel this and this never moved, this is actually the shape that it would be in um, when you exit. And so this is actually the location you exit, and this is where you enter. This is not actually the entrance. This is actually the the this is the entrance. This is the exit. This is the entrance. Anyways, um, so uh, you get kind of more of an idea of like where the exit is. So if you need to know where the exit is, use this one. Now number three. This is number three. This is the really good one. This is one that will show you exactly 
in space where you will be. And so there's no sharp edges. You can see the you can see the uh, the way the moon will actually like the moon will be here and it'll bend around it and then loop back this way. Um, and so it makes a lot more sense. It's easy on the brain. This is probably the one that you're gonna love the most. Number three. And number four, I know it's supposed to be useful, but I can't wrap my brain around it. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I can sort of see like this and then like the path here. Like this is the path you'll take, but it'll actually be over here. And then this will be actually over here. And I even actually followed this out. Um, and so that's it through time. And so four, I'm assuming can be useful, but it's hard for me to wrap my brain around. Each of these are actually quite useful in their own way. You just have to kind of, you know, think about them. And believe it or not, sometimes maybe actually two or one or even zero might be more useful for you. Uh, but three really is the easiest one. Hey, thank you guys so much for, for watching this. Uh, this was quite a bit of work to, to do all this. And uh, I could not get a good recording for the life of me, like the files would corrupt and things like that. But it's worth it. We got it out. We're done. We're finally finished. You can watch it now. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe because you may never know uh, what cool things, maybe some information, maybe something silly, um, hopefully always entertaining for you guys. Uh, so if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And until next time, uh, have fun.